What do we have here? I have a bone record. Um, what is a bone record? It's an x-ray. It's like an x-ray record that, that they used for, like, band music back in the day. You know, it's definitely an x-ray of something, it looks like. It looks like boobs. It's not boobs. It's Maybe not I'm boobs. just seeing things. <laughs> a bone record is like a vinyl x-ray that they used to get band music on back in the 40s and 50s. I'm going to try to sell it for 500 If I get the full 500 I am going to spend the money on recording an album for my band. I'm just sort of, like, baffled by it. Where did you get this thing? My grandpa. He gave it to me because I play music, and I can't do anything with it. So I'm assuming it's Russian? Yes. It's from Russia. My family's actually from Russia, so... I've never heard the term bone record, but I remember hearing about how the bootleg records in Eastern Europe, they would press records on x-rays because up until the Berlin Wall came down, the Soviet Union at the time didn't like Western culture. They weren't allowed to have Western music. This is how they sort of bootlegged them. This was the Soviet Union. You did what they told you to do, and if you had any contraband, they sent you to the gulag. You went to a work camp and worked there until you died. That was their system of government. I feel like I'm in a gulag. Not until the Berlin Wall came down in 1989 was Western music allowed in the Soviet Union. It was illegal to own any type of record-making device, recorder. It was even illegal to own a printing press or a Xerox machine. So it makes sense that they make music on an x-ray. It's kind of weird, but that's the materials they had, and that's all they could do. So have you ever played their album or the no. record? No, uh, I've never played it. You have to have like a special record player to play it, and I, I, don't, I don't even know where to get one. OK, so um, I'm assuming you want to sell it? Yes. And how much do you want to sell it for? 500. Um, that seems like a very arbitrary number. <laughs> yes. Do you mind if I call in my music guy? I, yeah. I, I'm just completely baffled with it. No. This is, uh, Go ahead. I mean, for all I know, it could be worth $5 or it could be worth 5000 So okay. give me a few minutes, OK? Will do. I think it's, it's great that an expert comes in because I know nothing about it. So it, it'd be interesting to see what he has to say. So this is it. Have you seen these things before? I've heard of them. I've never actually messed with one before. It's uh, made on an x-ray. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably Russian. Western music was illegal, so these guys would bootleg stuff. They made them on whatever material they had, and so x-rays were probably pretty regularly available. Mm. You know, bone records are kind of collectible, you know? You can get these guys that are obsessive about records and the history of it, and they're a neat thing to have in your collection that you could show you, like, oh, yeah, well, you've got that. Well, I've got one of these, you know, kind of thing. So do you think this thing will play? It might. I'll put it on here and play it, but it might, like, <laughs> cut a spiral in it or destroy it. I, I don't know if it's going to work or not. OK, I'll right. go. Risk is on you guys, man. It sounds like somebody's killing somebody. Yeah, it does kind of. I can understand why the Russians were always so angry. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's probably 50 years old, so who knows what it sounded like when they first did it. It might have been pretty decent. What are these things worth? Stuff like this kind of falls in. It's, it's a copy. It's like saying, well, I got a cassette tape of the Beatles' White <laughs> Album. You know what I mean? It's, like it's, it's a copy. It's a copy. It right, is a rarity right, right, and stuff right. like that. I get it. And there aren't that many of them. But there's people asking two or three hundred bucks for them, but I don't, I've never seen one sell for that much. They usually sell right around eighty or hundred dollars. That's usually what they end up selling for. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, I no just problem, dude. Want to get an idea on it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hope it helps. All right. Yeah. Catch you guys later. I think it's kind of a cool buy for Rick, just because it's something he's never seen before. You know, it's the first one I've ever actually put my hands on. It's kind of a rare thing. Nothing else. He gets it right. It's cool to just a conversation piece in the shop. So I'll give you 30 bucks. 30? <laughs> um, jeez. He said 200, so I'd, I'd, I'd like to start there, if anything. Well, no, he said he's seen people ask as much as that, but he's seen himself for like 80 or 100 bucks. Right. Like you said, it's an oddity. It's just, it's one of those weird things. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you 50 bucks and I won't give you a dime more. Um, Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, sweet, dude. That's good. We got a deal. Thanks. I'll meet you right over there on our right shop. Oh, okay. no, as a matter of fact, this guy will write you up. All right. Got it. 
If I would have got the 500, I would have recorded with my band, but since I'm getting 50, I'm just gonna go buy an album at the store. <laughs>